Hi, I'm Rich from Trapping Inc. TV. I've had this Yamaha 3028 pressure washer for about a year now. And over that time, I've got to use it and abuse it and put it to some good work. So I thought it was time to maybe do a little review on it. First off, you gotta understand what you need, actually need in the way of a pressure washer. There's a lot out there, there's gas and there's electric mostly. And it all comes down to how much work you need it to do. Uh, when we talk about pressure washers, there's a couple things that are important. One is the PSI. Okay, in this case, this unit puts out 3,000 PSI or pounds per square inch. Now, pounds per square inch is important because that's how much pressure it takes to separate a stain from a surface, okay? The higher the pressure, the more it'll separate. Next thing that's important is your gallons per minute, okay? And that's how much water is being flowed, you know? So the higher the gallons per minute, the more surface you can, you can wash. There's a third a way of rating the uh, pressure washer that actually makes the most sense and it's called cleaning units or CU. And you multiply your, your PSI times your gallons per minute and you get a CU rating or, or a cleaning units rating. That's the best way to go because you can get little tiny uh, electrical units that will put out huge PSI but won't wash a teaspoon in an hour. So by uh, multiplying your pressure times your gallons per minute you're going to come up with cleaning units that will actually uh, show you some value <laughs> in what the numbers mean. For me, with the amount of washing that I do when it comes to vehicles, the amount of mud we get on everything, I can't fiddle around with, a, with an electric unit. I need something that will move lots of water with lots of pressure. And for me, that's a gas unit. So what are the important features now that we've decided on a gas-powered pressure washer? The number one has to be, of course, the engine. And of course, this is powered by a Yamaha 4-stroke, 192cc. Uh, bulletproof, absolutely bulletproof. It's uh, air cooled. It's got a, a one and a half gallon uh, gas tank on it so you get to wash a long, long time without having to stop and, and fill up and let the soap dry on your car or whatever. So bulletproof uh, power is what's important. After the power, the next most important thing is, is your pump. This has a CAT triplex pump. Now remember that name and here's why. Two big reasons. One, the oil bath, and you can see where, where we can check the oil level right here. That oil bath means that pump lasts a long, long, long time. Lesser known brands than that go with far cheaper pumps that don't have duty cycles that begin to get to a tenth of the way to what this pump will. The other thing is plungers in the, in the cylinders are ceramic, so they last for forever. Next is how do we uh, apply all that pressure and, and get it to where we want to wash something. This is done with a, a really unique system here. You've got a nice big long wand and it's all adjustable and it, the handle on it is adjustable whatever, whichever way you want. Um, trigger release here. And uh, when you release the trigger, when it's not actually producing pressure, your engine idles down. So that makes that engine last even longer and makes your fuel last longer. On the other end, there's something really cool here. This, this is a, uh, a five in one that comes with it. And the, the five in one has, uh, uh, like an 800 PSI setting, a 25 degree setting, a 40 degree setting, a soap jet and a, and a soap tan. So I mean, it, it uh, has all these, all these different settings and you just, you just take and rotate it on the end there rather than constantly changing out anything. All of your uh, connections are all brass. They're all meant to last a long time. Uh, you can, uh, don't have to be in line. So if you, you want to take and wash up underneath uh, the wheel wells of your truck, you can just take and adjust this and you don't have to bend over. You, you can take and, and uh, clean underneath those wheel wells really easily. It's got an onboard one and a half gallon soap tank. Okay, soap gets injected right into the line. The line itself is steel braided and it is rubber coated for, for long lasting protection. One of the things that a lot of people overlook and that I think is really cool is the tires. This has permanent tires, but they're, they're, they're nice and, and wide and they roll really easy. So, I mean, lots of times where we're going, we're pulling these things over top of all kinds of crap. And if you have just those skinny little tires and, and the unit isn't stable, it doesn't work so well. Uh, one of the final things that I want to talk about is storage. You can take and fold this down and take and store it into a much smaller area than if, than the, if this had to stay folded up. All in all, the unit has impressed the heck right out of me. I especially like the uh, idle up and idle down stuff on the motor because it takes and uh, makes a gallon and a half of fuel last for forever. And 
the fact that you have that oil bath uh, ceramic plunger um, uh, pump there, it, it, uh, you don't worry so much about it sitting there idling for a minute or two while, while you're scrubbing down a vehicle. It's been a great unit and I'm looking forward to a lot more years using it.